A proposal to shut down a busy post office on Kauai has area lawmakers uneasy. As Manolo Morales tells us, they want to make sure officials hear from residents who may be impacted by this. Manolo? Joe, a spokesman for the U.S. Postal Service, tells me the proposal to relocate the facility will make it more convenient for the customers and should not affect the services. I spoke with two lawmakers for, Ka for Kauai who aren't sure about that. The U.S. Postal Service wants to close the post office on Rice Street in Lihue and combine it with the carrier annex facility near the airport, which is just a little over a mile away. A spokesman says all the services will be kept, although it's not clear at this point if the hours will remain the same. He adds that the main reason is that the parking is limited in the current facility and moving it would be more convenient. Some aren't so sure. The Lehui Post Office is heavily used, and uh, I believe that we don't want to see any customer service impaired in any way. I'm sure people are going to be uh, calling us and emailing us and, and having concerns about that because it is near, you know, the, the busiest business area of the island. Lawmakers tell me residents are already dealing with the loss of the Hanama'ulu Post Office when it burned down in 2012 and never reopened. So they're encouraging residents to air their concerns. The Postal Service wants the public to comment on the proposal. There have been proposals to shut down other post offices in the past. In 2013, the Kapolei site was considered, but there had been a national outcry of closing post offices in general, so it never happened. Three other facilities were considered before that, including Hanama'ulu, which remains closed after the fire. I would suggest everyone on Kauai that um, has concerns about it being relocated or closing should contact the, the number that uh, at the United States Post, Postal Service. A public meeting will be held, although the date has not been determined. You can also send your comments to the Postal Service, and we have posted the information on our website, khon2.com. Manolo Morales, KHON2 News.